Oakland city leaders are taking action to fight a major quality of life problem, talking about abandoned cars dumped on the city streets. Yesterday, the city council passed a measure to hire a team of 15 new employees to sweep Oakland and clear out all these dumped vehicles. The city will use vacant Caltrans lots beneath freeway overpasses to store those abandoned cars. A report obtained exclusively by the ABC 7 News I team shows just how bad the problem is and which neighborhoods are being impacted the most. Uh, ABC 7 News I team reporter Stephanie Sierra went to see for herself and she's here with us to show us what she found. Stephanie? Yes, yeah, Dan and Amma, we did a ride along through East Oakland. And within minutes, we saw dozens of abandoned cars that were reportedly stolen weeks or many months ago, but they just sit there. And as we found out, certain areas are being targeted for these so-called dump sites. You're not gonna believe what you're gonna see, but we'll take you there. It's a problem that's both hidden Put your camera down. and glaring at the same time. Now to your right, that just happened. Causing neighborhood chaos. You approach them and they shoot you first. On one street at a time. This is unbelievable. See? Stolen right. cars are being dumped all over Oakland. Right here, this one, right? You see them everywhere. See that? In residential streets. Right in the red zone. Business districts. That was just abandoned. Even on the train tracks. Stolen, abandoned. There's so many, the city is leasing space just to have somewhere to put them. See the guy towing him in? Dumping them here. Huge lots like this one. This is where they're taken. That's been at capacity with more than 2,000 inside. You see in the further, further back, they're stacked on top of each other. Some get picked up, some don't. We witnessed all of this during a ride along with council member Noel Gallo, his staffer Preston Turner, and our security guard. Within 15 minutes, so look on the corner. Turner pointed out at least 25 abandoned cars within a two mile radius. After 30 minutes, that turned into... What you think? At least 50. At least. Roughly 50 abandoned cars. See that? Gallo says the problem has tripled on the streets this year. Why? What I heard yesterday, we don't have space to locate them. The city's storage lots for abandoned cars are packed and expensive. We do not own the lot. We're renting the lot. Gallo says the city is paying close to $1 million each year for lots like these used to store abandoned cars. These cars stored here were in places Gallo calls illegal dump sites. That's an illegal dump site. You're not supposed to be charging people to dump your trash and then they haul it. Gallo says these are operations where people strip stolen cars, then sell the parts to nearby auto shops. Then what's left gets dumped. See all these cars here? They haul them in here, they strip them. You see they're stripping they're the tires? See them right there, look. He says some are run by known gang members. Just be careful, okay? Yeah, because they're on the Put your camera street. down. <laughs> Why does it a cop pull up, find out that it's stolen, and arrest the guys that are that's, stripping the car? That's the challenge. Why don't they do that? Not a priority. They don't deal with violent crime. Some of the cars have citations waiting to be towed, while most are just sitting there. And look, well, not pretty. Missing a tire. Yeah. It's abandoned. Collecting dust for three weeks, one month, four months. Who knows how long? A new report from Oakland's Department of Transportation shows more than 13,800 abandoned cars reported just within a six month time period last year. To put that in perspective, our analysis during that same time frame found Oakland has more abandoned cars than San Jose and San Francisco cities with roughly double the population size. And we asked for help and they say, well, our procedure in Oakland, no, no pursuit, you're on your own, exact work. The abandoned cars are not only an eyesore, but a hassle. Some park in front of our gate, can we leave <laughs> all the time? All right, you see him? Or blocking access to this elementary school. They had these abandoned cars on the sidewalk. Which left teachers without parking. It's just not fair. We report them, they clean it up, they're back like ants. Residents like Bernadette Burton are fed up. 17th and Jackson. Every month we have a stolen car there and it sits there for the whole month. Yeah, the whole block reports it. There's nothing they can do. They just say no? OPD no longer will respond to reports of abandoned vehicles unless it's parked in front of your driveway and you can't get into your house. If not, the Oakland Department of Transportation is authorized to respond. But as you can see, that can take a while. Residents have to wait for it to be reported, cited, and then in some cases, 
get stuck with the tow bill. It happened to my assistant in my office. She had to pay like close to $500. Why, if you steal my car, do I have to pay? A valid question, right? Why should you have to pay for someone else's crime? That's a question that's being discussed by city officials now. In the meantime, the city is partnering with Caltrans to access additional lots for storage, as well as hiring 15 parking control technicians who will respond to reports of stolen and abandoned cars. We're told they're in training now and should be on the streets within the next few months. Really? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Absolutely.